Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Woo! It's echoey in here, very echoey. My mic is broken, but we gonna get it together, okay. We back with color, we back with some things. Y'all gonna get a whole lot of different, different, different content this year for me, so I hope you're ready. Embrace yourselves. As well, if you missed me, that means you're not on Instagram, okay? So follow me on Instagram, because that's where I post every single day, pretty much, and I'm super engaged in there, and it's almost like one big vlog, like a live vlog, every day, almost, almost. As well, guys, if you are new here, welcome to the tribe. Thanks for stopping by, thanks for tuning in. To make it official, though, you have to subscribe to join the tribe. So you guessed it all. We gonna get all up into this color, honey, cinnamon, brown girl, black girl. Extra. I'm gonna have to switch to this life and do some curly hair in this color too, cause I can't lie, I'm feeling it. I just love that it's subtle, but giving you like impact. You know what I mean? Impact at the same time. Even though it's like, hey, subtle slay. But then you see this? If you were to do like a side tassel situation, look how much more color you get. Vibes. Look at that. Ooh, oh, oh, here. Wait, okay. It's just versatile, y'all. Versatile, this kind of color. Mm. All I know is that I can't stop touching my hair. It's just like... <laughs> so if you'd like to find out how I achieved this color and these waves, then keep watching. So first things first, this hair is from We Queen. This is my first time actually using any hair from them, any wigs or anything, and I was very impressed because y'all saw the way this hair took the color. So this was a bone straight texture, I did wave it up, but you guys always know I love me some textured curly hair and whatnot, so you know I had to go for something straight and different, you know what I mean, wanted to change in this 2020 year. So it does come pre-plugged, so the hairline isn't super, super dense. I really didn't have to do too much to it. The, um, it did come with a middle part, and y'all know I love me a good middle part. Bleached, bleached or not, not so bleached on the inside. It came with the clips for security, and this is a lace front, not a full lace, so we do have the rows in the back. And um, it came with a band already attached. So when we talk about minimal work in terms of the wig construction and you know customization, this definitely is offering minimal work. And it said wig just in case you forgot what it is. <laughs> but um, yes, minimal work if you just want to take our fresh out the package. But if we want to get into this color, that's what we gonna do. We got Bex here. You know she's a MVP. So for this look, I'm gonna be using the Quick Blue by L'Oreal and mixing that with 40 Volume Developer. So before I got into it, I kind of divided her up into um, a few different sections because I love with a look like this. I'm always, you're always going to want to start with the front because the front is what we want to process the fastest. So we've got our three main sections in the front, one at the top and then this one at the bottom that I left open. So I like my bleach this consistency, kind of like yogurt, uh, depending on what I'm doing. But for something like this, I like it like yogurt. And you guys understand, right, that whenever you want hair to go lighter, you have to bleach it. Even if you're using a high lift color, it's basically a bleach and lift at the same time process. So as we saw in the beginning, this look had to do with like the pieces in the front were like super light, right? So we're taking a small section, we're gonna back comb it at the base. If you've been here for a while, you've seen me do this for the last how many years? Like. I've been doing this for, yeah, eons essentially, <laughs> but the back combing helps to create a smooth transition and allows you not to have a line of demarcation, which is one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to color. I don't want to see a harsh line of where the color starts. It should kind of nicely, smoothly, beautifully transition in. So as you can see, I use, turn my brush um, vertically just so that I can kind of blend it in. And then later on, I'm gonna revisit those roots and I'm gonna go in and just lighten it a little bit more when it's almost time um, to wash everything up. So I'm gonna kinda let the music drop. I'm gonna let you guys just kinda watch the process. I start with the front sections and then I kinda work around the ear area, but I'm gonna let you guys just watch this. Oh, let me mention this though. Did you see how the first two sections I took normally, the sec third section, I started to weave. So this is all creative expression, you guys. Um, so weaving is an option or taking slices is an option. I like things to be super blendy and transitional, so I mix it up with um, sections that are weaved and sections that are just um, slices.
So one of the things I like to do is um, take my brush vertically and bring the product up to the base. So as we can see, the hair is now processed to a color that I'm liking. It's a nice, you know, caramel, honey kind of tone. And I just do that so that it helps to break up the base a little bit at the root. And that way the blonde is not transitioning from the natural color is transitioning from a nice medium brown. And then I'm gonna take out all these foils, guys. Um, as you saw throughout the process, I was kind of leaving pieces in between that were the natural color. And just make sure you check it. Sorry, that's what I forgot to mention. Just check your pieces first before you start taking everything out. Make sure everything is to your liking in terms of the color. Um, take everything out, and then what I'm gonna do is break up the base. So just like how I applied a little bit of the bleach on the root because I want to break the base, I'm gonna break the base everywhere, which means I don't want just this natural tone to be um, a harsh contrast between like the blonder, lighter tones. So we're gonna go in with that leftover developer, um, leftover bleach, and I'm gonna rub it over everything, and I'm only gonna let that process for about 10 minutes. So you'll see in the end results that we end up with a color that's not natural black but more of like a medium brown so that's the purpose of doing that letting that process for 10 minutes i washed her out with shampoo only because then we are going to tone her y'all tone her so i use 10 volume with a revlon 6 ash y'all can get this everywhere it doesn't matter where you live <laughs> which is why i like to use it just because i know you guys have access to it and it's a drugstore color i would never use drugstore color on my actual hair but yes i will use it on the wig so this is gonna help to kind of cut some of the brassy tones I still want it to be nice and warm but as you can see it's not as brassy it's not like a super yellowy color it's still warm it's still honey delicious but it's not brassy then I went in with my curling iron because I couldn't actually find my wand but this hot hot tools curling iron worked perfectly we did some nice waves all the way throughout and as you can see in the back see how the base is broken up you've got like so much dimension you've got these highlights throughout plus you've got this medium brown like hello honey tell me you don't love this color okay <laughs> and then we finish up the front here and now it's time to put her on okay okay you know that initial put on it's always just so not it <laughs> so we're just gonna shift her back a little bit me and my short forehead um so we're not gonna do much baby hairs because like i said my short hair is short head no my forehead is kind of short so as you can see actually i haven't done really anything to the lace i tweezed very minimal just to kind of open it up a bit the parting and then i'm gonna take my fingers open this up open up these curls we get this color a little better you know i don't want i don't like the curls too toy to toy so wait princess toys we ooh, open that up okay and then we're gonna use the brush it's such a pretty vibe that it gives you when you use the brush it's like such a soft nice loose glammy but beautiful wave <clears throat> that i'm in love with and obviously I had to do texture with this just because I feel like cr the the color shows so much more when you've got like this pretty kind of curl happening. So I feel like this is so good for people who want color just to kind of frame their face but don't want to go through the, the real work of doing an entire head. Or maybe you just don't even want that. Like this is this is really good for someone that just doesn't want to be a full head blonde but wants that 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 glow, that goddess glow, that pop. You know what I'm saying? All right guys, that is all for today. Thank you so much for hanging out and kicking it with your girl. Don't forget to hit subscribe to join the tribe. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. No sleep. Whisper that she don't drink, set the sheet rolling. Hope I don't think that just that we smoke that I'm gonna hit. I'm like, what you think? So think what you want, she had me a thing.